Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. I'm Topher and I started this channel because I'm a fan of craft beer, but I'm on a limited budget and I wanted to demonstrate that it was possible to enjoy good quality beers without having to break the bank. So the beers that I review on this channel usually come in around the $2 price range, and such is the case with today's selection. I paid $2 for the 12 ounce bottle of Dawn of the Red IPA from Ninkasi Brewing. Let's see if we can get that without the glare. There we go. Ninkasi Brewing, Dawn of the Red, Red IPA. Uh, this Rebel. This Rebel IPA was born from the same endemic ingredients that brought garage rock and grunge. Its sweet tropical tang and happy finish is out to change everything. Got a 7.0 ABV, typically American APAs, uh, IPAs come in between 5.5 and 7.5. Has 66 IBUs, typically American IBAs come in between 40 and 70 IBUs. So it's on the little higher end of the scale for both ABV and um, IBU. It uses the following hops, Galena, Millennium, Autun uh, Autunum, Eldorado, Mosaic. The malts it uses are two row pale, Cara Red, Crystal, Flake Barley, and Black. It has been dry hopped, so there you have that. Now, this is one of those beers that, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of surprised I haven't had it already. Um, when I was living in Tacoma, you used to see this all over Puget Sound. I mean, just all up and down the Pacific Northwest, you'd see Dawn of the Red. And I, I am amazed that I have yet to try it yet. I mean, I've been drinking Ninkasi beers for, uh, um, I think, about six or seven years now, and I've never tried uh, Dawn of the Red. I, I, I went and looked in, in my untapped and went, are you kidding? Never? Really? And I never have. Trying to look back on it, I didn't have any recollections of it. And let's get into the beer, shall we? Let's shall going to be using my stemmed IPA glass from Stone, and let's see how this pours. I want to say one of the reviewing sites said that, uh, that this was an amber ale, which is not the case, but um, in fact, the, the, the major distinction between an amber ale and an IPA is the hop-forwardness of it. Uh, quick notes amongst the reviewing community. 31 of my friends on Untapped have given it a cumulative score of 3.70. 56,000 of us have given it a cumulative score of 3.75. Beer Advocate has had 484 rankings with an average score of 3.88, a cumulative score of 87. And on their scale, that is very good. And Beer Advocate is one of the places that refer to this as an amber ale. It is not an amber ale. Uh, I myself have had actually 17 different beers from Ninkasi with an average score of 3.6. So as you can see, I'm digging them. You know, not everything that I've gotten from Ninkasi has been great, but most of it really has been. And if you're familiar with Ground Control, which was a yeast that was made, I'm sorry, a, it was a stout that was made by Ninkasi Brewing um, with yeast that was actually sent into space. So um, they're, they're the ones who did that, if, if, you're, uh, if you're at all familiar with Ground Control. Uh, the stout. So, and if you're also unaware, Ninkasi was the goddess of brewing, so that's how Ninkasi got their name. Okay, well, I don't see any reason to keep talking any longer. I'm going to get to some drinking some beer. Cheers. Okay, I realized I did not give that a beard wipe. Because, frankly, I'm not getting a whole lot of, in, in the bouquet. Um, I want to make sure that this is, is this within... Yeah, it's got a drink by date, but you can't possibly read it. I remember that from before. Um, hmm, okay, first thoughts. I'm going to describe that as a medium-high mouthfeel, a little bit of spikiness. Uh, just the slightest alcohol burn to it. It is hop forward, but it's not overly hop. Um, it, uh, it, it, it tastes like a hoppy red ale is what it really tastes like. And I would not say an amber ale, because an amber ale is, is, uh, is a little different than a red ale, but... See, I'm getting like a hop profile on the on the bouquet, but it, it's not really substantial. And um, in fact, it's very very small. Hmm. I'm not uh, I'm not impressed with this beer. Uh, I'm I'm a little. I mean, now it it was kind of underwhelming. Um, finding out that I actually have been waiting all these years to try it, I didn't think that I had, but I have. Now that I've had it, it's uh, it's okay. It's not great. I think um, I think 3.25 will actually do just fine for this beer. Uh, I know it's a very popular beer, but honestly, I think they make better IPAs than this. Um, 
I mean, it's a good price point, buck ninety nine for a twelve ounce bottle. It's getting more and more difficult to find those. Let me tell you, but uh, I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm not overly impressed with this beer, and uh, I think three point two is all three point two five is is all this one's gonna get. So hmm. Anyway, well guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.